When we step back and look at those organizations that are making good progress here, we observe three things that tend to be in place. We, we call them currencies. So those currencies are a, a um, value or a segmentation currency. So the second I have more than a few hundred customers and I can't call them by name anymore, I need a way in which to talk about them from a grouping level. So I need to understand the segmentation of that customer set. Most organizations have a segmentation mentality of some kind, but generally it's not enterprise-wide. So generally you have a media team segmenting on demographics for targeting, and you have a risk team you know, segmenting on FICO scores for risk, and you have a different team segmenting on something else for margin, and you have the service call center team segmenting on length of call because they get paid you know, based on how fast they can get people off the phone, not necessarily how valuable that customer is. So ultimately we need a segmentation capability that can work across the enterprise. I would argue it has three dimensions always, value, behavior, and attitude. If it doesn't have all three of those dimensions, it can't actually operate across the enterprise because there's, there's too many people that are unserved in that. The second currency is an incremental measurement currency. So our ability to measure things on an incremental basis. If we don't have an organizational wide incremental measurement capability, we actually can't, in, we can't integrate because there's no belief to the spend. Everything happens, you'll, you'll dumb it back down to the campaign and you'll live with campaign. And in reality, campaign isn't where real advantage is living right now. So we need a way to understand, not averages, but the incremental influences of spends, i.e., you know, generally programs and things we do in a call center or in a marketing campaign, and their specific, how they specifically relate to an individual behavior over a period of time. And last is a customer value metric. People have been talking about lifetime value or long-term value or value for 20 years, but most, again, most organ, we did some research with Forrester, more than 60% of the organizations we talked to had no value metric, and less than 10% of the organizations we talked to had a value metric that was at an enterprise level. Because again, the risk people look at it one way and the service guys look at it another, and marketing looks at it as another. So unless we can build an enterprise-wide way to view the value of a customer, I actually don't know then how to behave with that customer generally.